many astrophysicists and physicists are very concerned with dealing with this phenomenon called fine tuning. Right, mm. so um, cosmological fine tuning is where um, it seems that many of the laws that op- are operative in our universe, for example, law of gravity or the strong nuclear mm-hmm. force, or things like that, seem very finely tuned. Like think about those old radio dials mm. where you, you mm-hmm. know, if you if you had a really distant station, you had to be really careful turning the dial to get the signal. Right, so the idea is like the law of gra- the the force the 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 strength of gravity versus the strength of um, let's say the strong nuclear force or something like that. Like it has to be within a very narrow range right. for life of any kind to exist, right? Okay. right? Yeah. So one of these fine-tuning things is like, um, if it weren't within this very narrow range, protons wouldn't exist, right? right? Okay. So it's not just carbon-based life. Like any kind of any life kind requires of life. like protons because if you don't have protons, you don't have electrons in right. shells, right? Around atoms. Wow. Okay. And then you don't have any chemistry, right? Hmm. So anyway, like lots of problems if, if these things aren't fine-tuned. And so... This fine tuning, you know, that we've discovered the last like maybe 50 or 60 years is tremendously precise. If mm. things were just slightly different from the way they actually are, like no life of any kind could exist anywhere in the universe. Wow. Right? Which is amazing, right? Yeah. And so obviously Christians and other theists have come come forward and said, hey, this is actually a really good argument for God's existence. Mm-hmm. Because why would the universe have this tremendous fine tuning that allows for life? Um, if there wasn't a God, whereas if there is a God, then it makes sense that God would intend life to exist and right. s- fine tune things that way. Right. So many kind of atheistic or agnostic cosmologists and physicists were like, OK, we need to find some other answer to this because okay. because many atheist philosophers have actually um, publicly said this is actually one of the strongest arguments for God's existence around. Right. Wow. It, you know, if you interview them, so it, it, is there an argument that makes you think that maybe God does exist? And they, they often would say fine tuning is the thing that, you know, hmm. gives me some, you know, keeps me up at yeah, night. Give me some pause. Like maybe <laughs> I shouldn't be as you know, yeah. firm in my atheism. Right. Mm. And so obviously atheistic uh, physicists want to have some answer to this. And so they, they want to have some, uh, some other physical solution to this problem. And a multiverse would really help with what's described. Now, level one multiverse doesn't help with this because it's the mm. same laws all throughout. Right, right. But level two would, right? Because okay. you have these different little bubble universes that have different laws. And maybe out of these, you know, endless number right. of bubbles, one, one of them, and happens to be exactly, finally. Right. Sort, we right, got so. the cosmic mm-hmm. jackpot. 